friends, we're so glad you're with us again today. Today we're working on a little bit of a solar project. I'm gonna let Dean tell you about it. It's an inverter that we've had for a while that needs new batteries. Basically, I'm gonna have to take this top off and I've already, there's four places where I had to unscrew over here and then on the other side. And we're just gonna take that off. We're gonna set it aside, put the new batteries in, put this back on, and then we'll, we'll be able to fully use the solar capabilities to the max which is what we really want here. Yeah, we've had this one, did you say how long? About five years. About five, I was thinking longer. Okay. okay, so in case you guys don't let, well, he's, let me just walk you over really quick and show you in case you guys are new here and don't know, we live in a tiny house. You'll watch our channel has a lot of travel videos because we've lived on and off the road a lot over the years. But um, when we're not on the road and we won't be for a while, actually, we live in this 20 by eight foot tiny house and we, run our tiny house off our solar or have the capability of running our tiny house off of solar which we've done a lot over the years um and our solar panels i'll just walk you guys over here really quick so you can see it so so there's six 235 watt solar panels right here and like dean said we've just used our batteries so much over the years that it's just time all right, so the connections that connect the solar panel to the inverter are right here. So the first thing I have to do is remove those. So I've already kind of loosened those up. They're out of the way. And then there's one lead that goes to a positive on one and a negative on another. I went ahead and pulled those off here. So I said we have run the tiny house off of this solar setup, and we've done that a lot over the years. We also have a a camper that sits right here that we use as kind of a storage unit and somewhat sometimes we just use it in there it just depends but it's super handy sometimes we just plug into my sister's house just depending on what's going on we live right behind well this is our house our sister rents it and we live right behind her again for those of you guys that are new here and are not so sure so I've got pulled the positive off of this right here okay the negative off on the second battery over here pull those two things off now we'll be able to lift this whole thing up and put it off to the side and are those the only two or were there more that you I think those are the only two okay so make sure that you guys before you do any of this that you have your proper working attire on you're gonna want nice pajamas for <laughs> take a picture of it. I feel like I already know everything I need to know, but just in case it's good to have it to come back and refer to. Oh, this is a hot mess. Yeah, it's got a lot of mud daubers. Yeah, we've got a lot of mud daubers here in Missouri, and this sits out in the shed, so. Until we get our new one. <clears throat> yeah, until we get our, our new shed. We've got a, a new shed that's gonna be here within the next week, hopefully. We're super excited. We'll make sure that we film that when it gets here. Dean's growing a little wheat field over here, by the way, by hand. He's gonna do the whole process by hand. So there's gonna be a video on growing a wheat field from um, hand sown seed to um, a loaf of bread in the sun oven. All done, you know, old school. So let's see what he's doing. He's beating on something. Mud oh, he's beating on a mud dauber nest. I'm gonna need to take off these straps and remove the side brackets so that'll leave, give me room to pull these things out. We've watched about every video we can find on how to keep your dud, mud daubers out of the shed, but uh, we haven't found anything that actually works. So if you guys have any suggestions, please put them in the comments below because they are a battle every year.
Now, a lot of people might ask why AGMs? Um, obviously, if I had lithium batteries, that would probably be my best option. Uh, they're very, very expensive. Um, but the, the one advantage is that you can bring them all the way from 100% to 0%. And many times they'll give you ma many more charges over the course of the life. However, lithium batteries cannot be charged when the temperature is below 32 degrees. So unless I can figure out a way to keep this indoors in a heated area, I definitely need to stay with the AGMs. Well, Dean's over there working on his batteries for a minute. Let me introduce you to our bunnies. This is Daisy. She's so pretty. Our subscribers named our bunnies. So we've got Daisy. Here's Bucky. He's a cutie. He's feisty and he likes to eat. He's beautiful. And here's Pearl. She's the most shy. How's it going? Oh, I see. So these things connect from one battery to the next battery to the next battery? Yes. So you have to get them all off of there. Oh, that's a, that's fun. Yeah. It's not too bad, but it's just a little time consuming. It's just a process. I've got one more that I got to get out of here and then I'll have all the old ones out and then I can start putting in the new ones. All right. So it'd be time to put the new batteries in now. We are going to put them all in series. And again, we're just going to follow the same diagram that I had to begin with. That's why I took the picture just to make sure everything is in place. All right, so uh, we're going to be putting this inside a shed, which will be right behind here. So rather than get everything set up, get all 600 plus pounds of battery in here and then have to tote it, I thought I might as well do it empty and then just bring them over. Yeah, so if you notice we've changed locations, this isn't the shed it's going in, but the one that we had mentioned earlier, I think we mentioned it, that we're going to be getting is right behind me. So we're just kind of prepping, you know, getting ready for that. Trying to get everything set up before we're having a decent day. At the end of November. Looks like you've got a helper. Yeah, always a helper. This is Cupcake, named by our grandson. Yeah. <laughs> He's a mouser. He's amazing. And he's a sweetheart. Our uh, grandson, when he was about three, used to carry him around like this all the time. <laughs> Look, he doesn't care. Yes. Doesn't even care. Uh, hey, sweetheart. All right, so you went ahead and got all these off of the old batteries. Uh -huh. And you've put in most of the new batteries. Yeah, still got two more to do. Oh, so that wire ended up being a good idea after all, huh? Yeah. You've been using it for each one of the for batteries each and every to one of them. take them out of the box. Well, that's pretty smart. Take them out and lift them in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's handy to have a handle on it. Heck of a lot easier. Just enough room. Last one? Last one. And then the fun begins? Then the or, fun begins. Or are you already having fun? Oh, I, that's my life. It's just having fun all the time. <laughs> Learning new stuff. That's true. Are you supervising the situation? Huh? Doing a good job. Making sure Papa does it right, huh? Oh, perfect. Like a glove. You can get more battery capacity by putting it in parallel. But at least, no. It's 
sure looking good. Does it look like I know what I'm doing? Yeah, it looks like you know what you're doing. <laughs> a little shortly. There you go. Now we got her. Okay. Next thing we need to do is just put the inverter back on and I'll get the two cables connected in from the inverter. We're good to go. Now all we have to do, there's the main cable coming off the inverter. I need to get over here to this first battery. Since it's in series, the red cable will go to the first battery. Okay, so the cable from the inverter down here, okay, still needs to be connected to one of the batteries because they're all in series after that. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm just connecting this onto it. We have a happy helper again. <laughs> You're always helping. Huh, cupcake? That's what we'll call it. Always helping. Eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, ninety-five, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Nice. So when you first put the batteries on, this was reading like just a second ago. This was reading eighty percent. Yeah, because that means just the batteries are eighty percent at capacity. Yeah. Right now. What because was it's it been setting for six months. Right. What were the batteries reading before you changed them? What were the old batteries reading? Sixty-two. Okay. Something like that. Something pretty low. Okay. So then he plugged in the panels. They're going right over there. So nice. theoretically, when the, the sun goes down tonight, I could come out here and check and it should say, you know, much closer to 100%. Because now the, for the rest of the day, the solar panels are gonna take that energy. They're gonna store it into these batteries which were put in at 80% and they'll just be filling up through the rest of the day. If, uh, if you have any questions, uh, I'm no solar expert by any means, but I'd be happy to help you or direct you in hopefully the right direction. Um, yeah, please just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you see something I did wrong, especially seriously wrong, also let me know that too, but I, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a great big th thumbs up and click on one of these videos um, to the side here if you like that. And if I'm pointing to the wrong side, we could just call this the blooper reel. Until next time. Well, one more thing. We're going to be trying to do as many of these things, just projects, DIY projects as I can around the homestead. If you like what I showed here and you want more of it, please consider subscribing. Yeah, definitely it subscribe. It helps out our channel. Helps us out. Okay, thanks guys. Um, until next time, this is Grassroots Living reminding you to get down to the grassroots of what makes you happy and live your love. We're thinking of you. We'll catch you next time. Peace out.